What's up, CY and Esports? This is Eric with a Devo for the week. First off, I want to say sorry about not posting Devo last week. I was on vacation. That's why I'm so tan and full of life. Anyway, uh, I wanted to also say that this Friday, we have another Fortnite Friday, Friday, uh, August 21st, starting at 7 o'clock. We want to invite you and your friends, and the more random, the better. The kingdom of God is full of random people who have found a home in him. We want C CYN Esports and our Discord to be full of random people who have found a home uh, with, with God, with Christ, and together in community. So please uh, invite your friends, bring them out. We'll see what happens. Invite them to our Discord. We'd love to include them. And we're building, Zane's doing a great job of building not just Fortnite as the game, but all, all these other games and other platforms and uh, there's a lot of things happening and coming together. We're very excited. And we're going to launch um, uh, very soon the first official phase of this ministry. We've been putting it together for a long time, and it's coming together. Um, uh, Zane's cooking up a lot of really cool things. And I just want to encourage you to be a part of this and see where it goes. Anyway, we have a devotional. It comes from Living Grace, Walk in Love, Bob Goff. And I got to be honest, when I read this, this devotion before filming this video, I was very moved by it. And I think it's a good word for us today. And um, this is what it says. <clears throat> if Jesus didn't think we could live the life he described, he wouldn't have told his friends they'd do greater than him. And the scripture is from Matthew 25, verses 44 through 45, which says, They also will answer, Lord, when do we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or needing clothes or sick or in prison and did not help you? He will reply, Truly I tell you, Whenever you did not do for one of the least of these, you did not do for me. It's a hard word from Jesus. And this is what Bo what Bob has to say for us today. In the Bible, there's a story where Jesus wiped some mud on a blind's, blind man's eyes, and the man saw colors for the first time. Jesus strolled up to a guy who had never walked before and said, Get up, take your mat, and go home. Jesus felt the touch of a woman who had been bleeding for 12 years, and he turned to her and said, your faith has made you well, and she became well. Jesus showed up on the scene and healed people, but before he healed them, he saw them. He saw their immediate need, sure, but he also saw what was behind it, because Jesus was attentive to those most overlooked. It's hard to believe we can do greater things than Jesus when we think about his miracles, but it starts by taking him at his word and then seeing people the way that Jesus did. How can we go about healing people if we don't see them through a gaze of love? Of all the things that Jesus did, I'm struck by what a miracle it was that he always had room for more. He seemed to pick up friends wherever he went, some who were hungry, some who were hurting, and some who were on a hunt for a new identity. Wherever they were, when they came with humble hearts, he said, they were welcome. This is the life Jesus wants for us, to see people, feed them, and welcome them. He wouldn't have told us we'd do greater things than him if he didn't think we could. And this is the question for us today. Who do you see in your life who needs to be met by the love of God? We really believe and we really want this gaming ministry to be a place where people are seen and known and loved. We want this to be a place where people see and know and find Jesus. We want to see people like Jesus sees people, with the, through the gaze of love. So I want to encourage you today, for the people that you're looking at, for the teachers that you see on your virtual learning, for the kids that are struggling in your virtual classes or in person or wherever they are as your school starts up, for the people that you see on the news that are protesting in the streets, for the people that are hurting around the world that are sick with this disease, people who are scared, people who are lost. I'm one of them. And I know that when Jesus looks at me, he looks at me with love. And he looks at me and he says, come here, you're part of this. You're part of my kingdom. And I pray that you'll be able to learn to look at people the way that Jesus looks at them too. So God bless you today. I pray that you would see this esports ministry as a ministry, not just as a community. Communities are great, but what is gonna set this aside, what this makes this important, 
is that it's a ministry where we are seeing people the way Jesus sees them. We may not always know their names. We may not always know who they are, what their voice even sounds like, but there are people on the other end of these, these interactions. And I just pray that we can see them the way he sees them. God loves you. That's the, that's the end of the story. And we hope to see you on Friday. God bless you. Bye.